Welcome again, everyone. This is Christopher here at In Motion Hosting, and uh, we're continuing here in our Jekyll series. Uh, in this video, we're going to do the exciting phase in which we install Jekyll and set up a basic uh, default site, basically, that you can start customizing. And you'll see here I have the Jekyll site up. This is definitely a good resource, and I'll put a, a link in there so you can basically have a good reference where you can come back and take a look at the Jekyll commands and if you forget uh, they have uh, some good documentation that you can check out and, uh, and this will be linked to. I will just mention that uh, Jekyll runs uh, very good with Mac and Linux distributions. I have uh, Ubuntu running here which is a Linux, dis Linux distribution uh, but one thing to remember is it, it can run in Windows but there is a um, a separate process here they have um, a specific uh, documents page for Windows uh, that you should follow because Jekyll requires Ruby which comes pre-installed in Mac and uh, most Linux distributions that I would recommend using it in one of those platforms but if you have win Windows it is certainly possible and uh, if you don't have Ruby installed or you're not sure uh, I'll show you how you can check so at this point let's just open up our terminal in Linux, uh, you should have a, a default uh, terminal terminal program, or if you use Mac, you can use the Mac terminal. Uh, I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to tap. Uh, I'm going to type in Ruby. Tac V, and it'll show you your Ruby version, so you know you have it. But otherwise, we're going to type clear, and we're going to jump right into the installation process here. And uh, to run the Jekyll installer. It's just one quick command. Um, if you're in Linux here, you may need to, you may not have root privileges, so you can type sudo and then gem install Jekyll. Type in your sudo password and the installation process will commence. Okay, so it ran through the installation process there. Uh, your, output, your output may look slightly different than mine, but it, it does this, the same thing. So I'm going to clear this. And now just navigate to the folder on your computer where you want to save your website. For this example, I'm just going to create it on the desktop. So I'm going to do CD desktop to go to my desktop. Now I'm there to launch the working directory for your Jekyll site, just type Jekyll new and the name you want to, to name that folder. I'm just going to name it example I have an example folder on my desktop here There will actually be a Jekyll site, a default site, basically, like an example of um, of a very basic default theme and Jekyll site that you could actually look at right now. So now that you have the, the example site on the desktop, do a CD to change into that directory. So CD example. And from within the directory, if you want to see the website, the default website that's currently in there, type Jekyll serve. and this will launch the Jekyll test server where you can kind of see what it looks like in the meantime. And you see it gives you the address here which is 127.0.0.1 and uh, a colon 4000 for that port uh, where you can see the test site or you could even type localhost which is also easy to do. I'll show you. So open a new window here, type localhost colon 4000 and here you see, welcome to Jekyll. That's the first post. It's like an example post. Uh, but you can see it has the, the date in here and everything everything set up as a normal post. You even have an about page. And you can see you have a nice uh, permalink structure here. And uh, stay tuned for the next video where we'll show you how you can start customizing your Jekyll site.
Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.